Here, ladies and gentlemen, is Julia Overby, the most boot scoop boogie and woman this side of the South has ever seen. Legend has it she bought the cutest house in Central Texas. Home of the Blue Bonnets, Barbecue, and Tarantula Hawks. Disgusting. Bless her heart. She doesn't really have a damn clue what she's doing, but she sure is learning along the way. Stay tuned for the house tour and updates that y'all been waiting for. To catch you guys up on the last eight months of my life, I finally found a house after three years of hunting. I don't even know how to properly hard boil an egg, so in all honesty, I can't believe they sold it to me, but I'm officially a homeowner. I bought a house. Holy Ready? <laughs> my new house. Presenting my new home. I didn't even film a pre-construction house tour because I couldn't wait to get my hands on that nasty brown carpet and laminate. Oh, bah, so brown. We got started on ripping those up right when I got the keys and it was so very satisfying to see it go. This little house is two bedroom, two bath, the perfect starter home. As you can see, there are a lot of modifications that need to be done, but thank God for my incredible parents and fiance because I am learning every step of the way. Yeah. Here you can tell I am thoroughly enjoying the delectable smell of dog pee that was just baked into that old carpet. <laughs> Here's a quick glimpse of the guest bedroom and the first bathroom, and then through the hallway, we have the master suite. Even though it's only been about eight months since we started renovating, looking back at these old videos is so crazy to me because it's already such a different house. To name off just a few of the one million projects that we've already done, Marco and I ripped out some cabinets in the kitchen to open that girl up. We also hand cut each board for a custom shiplap ceiling in the living room. The ceiling took us about four days and it was a ton of work. How are you feeling about the project? Great. You're gonna get the shiplap done today. That's a good angle. <laughs> Personally, I think it turned out really beautifully, but by day two, we were both over it. <laughs> A few months later, my little bestie Mariah came over to give me her opinion on it. Mariah, what do you think about the shiplap? I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> no, I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I don't even think I hate it. <laughs> adds a flair. It does. It adds. It's like a something to look at. Stop talking. <laughs> I like it. I do. I'm gonna do it when I get home. <laughs> I kicked her out and told her she was never allowed to come over ever again. Thanks for coming. I scraped up carpet glue, removed tack boards, and scraped up the old glue from underneath the laminate, which if you've ever done this, I applaud you. It is very challenging. Now I'm working on removing the last of the tack board. We wet and hand scraped all of the popcorn off those ceilings, and don't worry, this was asbestos free. I cleaned and swept up what felt like tons and tons of garbage, and I only complained just a little bit. Quite literally tons. Tons. I'm gonna be honest, I'm in a lot of pain, <laughs> but it is well worth it. In about a half day, Marco and I demoed this old, unstable back deck, and he and my stepdad then rebuilt it. It was all hands on deck to get this project done, no pun intended, and I owe Marco like seven children for all the work that he put in on this deck. Thanks to Bruce and Marco, love y'all. Then I sanded and stained that deck. I don't know how I got so lucky, but I love it. She turned out real pretty, and I would say that stain job's about a 7.9 out of 10. I did this. Marco! Oh. Marco was able to stay for like the first two weeks of the project, which was so awesome, and he's come back a lot to help. I randomly found this view in my backyard, so it was very exciting, and we started to forge a path for guests to walk to the lake. <laughs> so I, all by myself, <laughs> Marco, mostly Marco, got this bitch out of the wall and over here. And how much do you think this weighs, Marco? 300 pounds? At least 600, right? Quarter ton, I'd say. The more that I cut into everything, you're not holding the camera straight at all. You know, I'm like nervous because ROI. You always want to talk about ROI. ROI, BYOB, WTF. You know, maybe I'm not necessarily staying on budget, but you can't bring it with you when you die. Hi, Mr. Dave Ramsey. Th thanks for taking my call. Sure, what's up? So I bought a house and to be 
completely honest with you. Let's just say I haven't been the best about keeping a budget and now I'm just most certainly 100% over budget. So. Okay, how much of that is a mortgage? Um, it's a lot. Um, 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 okay. How old are you? I am 28. Okay, so what in the world? <laughs> You're funny, Mr. David. <laughs> Are you both on this, or is this just one of you that's completely lost your mind? Oh, just me. <sighs> okay, so your household income is what? Like five dollars, or depending on the day, I guess. Is there recognition on both of your parts how absurd this situation is? <sighs> well, Mr. David Ramsey, perhaps you're being a little bit arrogant. If that makes me arrogant, fine. But I think we're confused as to who's arrogant on this call, brother. You know, no, 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 I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to end the call. You jerk. Oh. Bring it. I will, it will be brought. You have done poked the wrong bear. You done pissed off the wrong hillbilly. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Bye. Cut. Can you straighten that out? Basically, everything you see is going to be revamped and reviewed. Wow, that buck is just... That buck just took a huge hit. Sir, right. can you please stop pooping on my property? Sir? Sir? He told me he's sorry. We're back after that brief intermission. Marco and I laid saltillo tile in both the master and guest bathroom. It turned out a little freaking gorgeous, if I do say so myself. My dad came to visit and helped me build a custom beam for the master bathroom. Hello, gorgeous and he taught me how to uh, use this nail gun thing. Clearly, I, <laughs> I was a little nervous, but my dad is truly the best. <laughs> he and my stepmama came to visit and they checked out the property. A few weeks later, we prepped for paint day and my stepdad sprayed the entire house. I chose a nice all over white color for the entire place. Because it's hot girl ballin' on a budget summer, I saved money by reusing all my kitchen cabinets, doors, and bathroom vanities. I decided to paint the guest bathroom vanity this luxurious green-blue color that turned out so beautifully. I'm basically Picasso. As glamorous and seamless as HGTV makes it look sometimes, most of the time this is what my renovation looked like. A combo of peeing in a bucket in the backyard. Okay, go ahead. Straight. Thank you for the privacy. Me getting overwhelmed and my mom honestly being my biggest cheerleader throughout it all. Bitch, you're doing a good job. Bitch, you're doing a good job. And sunsets helped a lot too. This is so cool. First, first official. Okay, I'll trade you spots. I got it. First official. Straight in. Going in. Yep. Sweet. Good job. Owning a home has been equal parts terrifying, humbling, and gratifying, all wrapped into one. I've had some of my favorite humans on this planet help me work on this house, in turn helping me create some of my most favorite memories in this house already. It's truly been a labor of love, and in those moments in life when I feel like I'm lost or I don't know what I'm doing, I remind myself that I've made one of my dreams come true. I used to watch HGTV as a kid and home renovation shows and watch my parents flip houses. So the fact that I own a home now is extremely surreal and I'm so freaking grateful for this whole process. Of course, I won't bore you with the details of everything we've done, but we've come a long way. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your help today. Dinner at the seat of Willow. <laughs> It's tough to fit nine months worth of projects in a 10 minute video, but I hope you've enjoyed watching the process unfold as much as I've enjoyed bringing this little house back to life. I'm getting in my feels, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. But I feel so blessed to have so many amazing humans in my corner, and I can't deny that without their help, I could not have made any of this happen. 10 out of 10 would recommend doing projects with the people you love. I know this video was a little sporadic, but we've worked hard on these 46.8 billion projects and I hope that you watching at home or wherever you are in the world have enjoyed watching Casita Willow come to life. I'm gonna have a meat and cheese moment. Don't be up on another meat and cheese moment. Yeah. Got yelled at by Marco. Bitch, you're doing a good job.
If I want to get an HGTV show, I'm not sure that my current approach is going to work, but we'll see. HGTV, call me baby.